timing can be so 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 funny uh it's crazy because a little over an hour ago i had recorded a video where i was talking about the possibility of an anthony weaver becoming the dolphins defensive coordinator because as we've heard since i think yesterday he is he was the favorite so he was expected to get the job and in that video i was talking about how uh, yeah it was getting ready to happen most likely and it was expected and but even with that, I was still proud of the way the Baltimore Ravens have handled and even provided this opportunity and how they handled this situation in a couple of different ways. But then I recorded the video. I was in the middle of uploading it. And then I had accidentally deleted it. And I was like, oh. and that is one of the most frustrating things when you work on something and you work on it, you work on it. And then you accidentally delete it. You get rid of it. But then about 15 minutes ago, this news came out. That now is official So I was like okay cool I, I couldn't even be too mad at it But anyway team keep it clean I gotta share with y'all why I am very proud uh, Of the Baltimore Ravens for this move And that, that may sound weird Like how could you be proud of the Baltimore Ravens If Anthony Weaver is getting hired to leave the Ravens If he's getting hired to go to a different team uh, Still within the, the same conference as the Baltimore Ravens Well I'm going to tell you exactly why And there's a couple of different reasons too um, Before we get into it Make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, turn your notifications on. I know it's a lot of people that right now that do not want to hear nothing about the Baltimore Ravens football, but and I get it. But I appreciate y'all that have been coming back, that have been showing love, and that still want to talk football. Because it's a lot of us that still don't mind talking football, even though it ended on an ugly note. Even though it ended on a sour note, uh, we, we we still willing to talk. And more than happy to talk some Ravens football and just football in general as well. Uh, so, with this move, um, again... Anthony Weaver, he had been a favorite to be the defensive coordinator for the Miami Dolphins. I believe Vic Fangio, he left to go be the defensive coordinator. I want to say for the Eagles, I believe, um, but I'm not 1,000% sure. But anyway, um, they're getting a new defensive coordinator with Anthony Weaver. But this was not his only option. This was not the only uh, job that he applied to. It's not the only place that he had an interview with. He had an interview to be the possible head coach of the Washington Commanders. But they obviously gave that to Dan Quinn, who was... The former defensive coordinator for the uh, for the Cowboys, former defensive coordinator for the Seahawks, and former head coach. Then he coached the Atlanta Falcons, I think. I forget which team he he coached, but anyway, um, they gave that job to Dan Quinn. So now he's the head coach of the Commanders. Um, but now with Anthony Weaver becoming the official defensive coordinator of the Dolphins, and they they were really weird defense last year I mean, you know what i guess it wasn't weird it was just really the whole team because they were really good against the bad teams oh my goodness that defense showed out they showed out they went crazy but against the good teams they they fell flat and that that's really the the theme of the miami dolphins last year uh for the most part against the really really good teams but anyway um i'm proud of the baltimore ravens for this move and i know that sounds really weird like how does that make any sense well for two main reasons one is because the Baltimore Ravens, obviously Mike McDonald, he he was expected to be a head coach this offseason. We all knew he was going to be a head coach this offseason. We all we have been talking about it for the entire season that Mike McDonald was going to be a head coach. No way that that defense did what they did and the way that they did it for so consistently throughout the entire season, and he wasn't going to get no job opportunities. No. Again, the only way that I felt like he would stay with the Baltimore Ravens is if – John Harbaugh ended up uh, retiring if the Ravens won the Super Bowl John Harbaugh re not retired or moved to the front office or something and then they ended up promoting Mike McDonald to head coach that's the only way I saw them keeping him that's the, oh, the only way um, but obviously that didn't happen Mike McDonald he got an opportunity to go coach with the Seattle Seahawks and hey we happy for him that's obviously what he wanted to do because if he didn't want to do it he had to do it he could have been like oh no he could have been Johnson them and been like oh no Seahawks now nah, I'm straight but he, he obviously wanted to keep moving up the NFL ladder and go from uh, an intern to what a linebackers coach and I know he did some other stuff in between there too then going to college defensive coordinator then coming back to the NFL and being a defensive coordinator for two years and then boom he's a head coach like well not like that but it's been a process obviously but over these past couple of years stuff just been moving really quickly for him so we're happy for Mike McDonald but with that, the Baltimore Ravens knew that Mike McDonald was going to go. They knew they weren't keeping him. They wanted to keep him, but they knew they weren't keeping him. They knew he was going to be out of there. But um, with that, it was said, Jeff Zrebeck did talk about how the Seahawks, they wanted Zach Orr too. They wanted to take Zach Orr with them. But the Baltimore Ravens also wanted Zach Orr. So Zach Orr had options. He could have went with Seattle uh, to with Mike McDonald over there uh, to be the defensive coordinator, or he could have stayed with the Baltimore Ravens to be the defensive coordinator. But with Zach Orr, something that I was thinking about, I wonder if – he really wanted to try to be in a better position to create his own thing, to establish his own name and his own identity. Uh, and that's why he stayed with the Ravens. The reason I say that is because 
I, I believe, don't quote me on I believe Jeff Zrebic did say something about if he would have went to Seattle, he might not have been calling plays. I think he said something along those lines. But either way, even if he didn't, even if he didn't, if he would have went to Seattle, it's a very big possibility that he went to Seattle was a defensive coordinator over there, whether he called plays or not. Uh, and if the defense did good and he was a defensive coordinator, a lot of people could have looked at that like, oh, nope, that's Mike McDonald. That's his doing. He was a defensive coordinator for the Ravens, and he's just bringing everything that he knew from the Baltimore Ravens, and he's bringing it over to Seattle. That's him. That's his success. That's not Zach Orr. That's more Mike McDonald. And they could have discredited Zach Orr for that. So I wonder if that played a part in him not going to the Seattle Seahawks and him staying with the Ravens because – as a defensive coordinator, he will be calling the defensive plays for the Baltimore Ravens uh, over here. So, um, but what I was proud about, I was just proud of the Baltimore Ravens just making that move and, and making it official. So they weren't pigeonholed, so they uh, could get it taken care of. So it wasn't like one of those things where there was all this pressure on. Okay, who, who's going to be? Who's going to be? Who's going to be our defensive coordinator? Who's, where are we going to go? Where, where, which direction we're going to go in? But they took care of business. That literally the day after it was announced that Mike McDonald was um was the the new coach for the Seattle Seahawks. Literally the day after, Ravens were like, all right, boom, Zach Orr, you're our guy. You're the defensive coordinator. Now, something that I know that Jeff Zrebic did say, uh, he did say that Zach Orr had been the favorite since Mike McDonald was leaving. He said Zach Orr had been the favorite all along. Um, so Ravens end up getting that guy, but still – there were some possibilities that Zach Orr left to go somewhere else, but they took care of business, and that's very, very important, especially in this day and age, especially in this offseason where they're losing a lot of people. Some other guys who were named to be the favorite as defensive coordinator were Denard Wilson. He was going to be the defensive coordinator for the Titans. Uh, Anthony Weaver, he was another one, but now he's going to be with the Miami Dolphins as defensive coordinator, and then, of course, Zach Orr. But it is important that Ravens got their guy, and, and they – I think Denard Wilson became the defensive coordinator of the Titans before Zach Orr got officially named as a defensive coordinator for the Ravens, but maybe it was something that they already had in the works and whatnot with Zach Orr, even when Denard Wilson was getting named the defensive coordinator for the Titans. But I'm, I'm glad that the Ravens, they took care of it. So they had to go searching all far and wide for a defensive coordinator. And I'm sure with Zach Orr, he's going to still implement a lot of the things that Mike McDonald did well because it worked. You don't want to try to fix something that's not broken. You, you, you don't want to try to mess up something that's... That's just fine. So I'm sure he's going to do a lot of what Mike McDonald did, but I'm sure he's going to probably put his own spin on it. He already got a really good connection with the players, a really good connection with the coaching staff. And so he's been here, done that. He literally was a player for the Baltimore Ravens, was a really good player for the Baltimore Ravens. So he sees stuff a lot differently. Uh, and what he says, what he will teach these guys, it'll hold a different type of weight because he's done been there, done that. So that's a beautiful thing in itself. Uh, but when you got experience and you got a connection with people too, you can't top that. Like that, that, that's a beautiful thing in itself. So that will help whatever your message is. It'll help it resonate with your players that you're teaching it to that much more. So shout out to Zach. Or I'm, I'm excited to see how he does, man. It's really, really exciting. But uh, another thing, too, um, is the opportunity that was provided to Zach or in the first place, because uh, the Baltimore Ravens, they do a really good job of providing opportunities, especially to former players to get into the coaching staff. We see guys like Tony Jefferson. We see guys like Jamil McClain. We see guys like Zach or we see guys like... Um, we see guys like uh, Anthony Weaver. Uh, we see guys like Anthony Levine. So, and I know there's more, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. But, but we see these guys, and we see the Ravens provide opportunities to these guys, and that just allows them to continue being a part of something that they love and something that they work their entire lives to get to, but allows them to continue being a part of it um, in a different way. Uh, but that allows them to not only be a part of it, but allows them to grow as well. Because we see, again, look at Anthony Weaver right now. Look at him, former player. He played for the Ravens. He played, I think, he played for the Texans too. But he played for the Ravens, and then he, he he ends up retiring, of course. And then I think the Texans may have put him on first. Did the Ravens? I don't even remember. I, I forget. But anyway, um, as a Raven, he gets to go from assistant head coach and D line coach. Now that assistant head coach, that's a big title right there, man. Because you are the assistant to the head coach. That's big. That's big. Still, there's still other opportunities and different uh, titles as well that that could be big as well. But that's that's big. So that's significant. So to, for him to have that on his resume, that speaks volumes about the the amount of respect that the Baltimore Ravens have for him as a person. Um, so the fact that they provided him with that opportunity in the first place and put that on his resume to make him look even better and more appealing, and to actually give him that role, that 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 says a lot. So that's um something that I was very proud of with the Baltimore Ravens very proud to see and very happy uh, for Anthony Weaver to for him to be provided that opportunity and for him to get that opportunity not even just to be provided but to get it to take it and to run with it and now he made the most of it now he's a defensive coordinator 
So um, I hope he does well uh, with the Miami Dolphins, and I hope it can lead to bigger and better things for him. Um, I uh, I wasn't sure how it was gonna go when he had his interview for with the Washington Commanders. Um, and then they ended up, of course, going with Dan Quinn. I wasn't sure what was going to happen with Anthony Weaver, whether he's just going to stay with the Ravens. I'm sure if he stayed, they would have probably moved him somewhere and gave him a different uh, position because that's usually what the Baltimore Ravens do. They usually don't keep you at that same position for too long. Like, look at T. Martin. T. Martin was, what was he, the wide receiver coach last year? But then this year he moved to quarterback coach, and they hired Greg Lewis, I think, from who used to be with the Chiefs. They hired him to be wide receiver coach. But now... I believe they lost Greg Lewis too but I forget where But I believe they lost him somewhere too uh, So now he ain't with the Ravens anymore And the Ravens lost somebody else somewhere else too They just they lost a lot in the front office And the coaching staff this year But it shows us how great of a team they were We wish they could have showed us how great of a team they were In the playoff game but it is what it is uh, But anyway team keep it clean This um, Again great move But it, it shows a lot of and I ain't, yeah, no, I ain't like oh yeah the Ravens do every single thing the right way The Ravens are great at this and that and Because they are they don't do everything right. They do a lot right, though. And, and this is one of those instances where several levels of something that they did right, they ended up showing themselves and they ended up uh, being the beneficiaries of both the Ravens end up being the beneficiaries of how they did something right. And then now the Dolphins, they will, too. So we happy for Anthony 